Hello again, and welcome back to the Rabbitat Homestead. My name's Ashley. Caring for a newborn litter of baby rabbits is both fun and rewarding. Lucky gave birth to eight kits, and they are all doing very well. She had her litter on day 31 of her pregnancy. After they are born, I check on them and document the date they are born and how many kits were born. When I do this, I give the dose time to finish kindling and give her a chance to settle in with her new litter before I check on them. So I usually wait at least 24 hours. Checking on the doe's litter can be stressful for the doe's, especially first-time does, so sometimes it helps to distract her and give her her favorite treat while you go ahead and check on them. Just be cautious if you're dealing with an unfamiliar doe because if she gets startled or too stressed, she may jump into the nest box to protect her babies, unintentionally stepping on one of them and injuring, injuring them. Checking on them is important, and when you do, you want to count how many she had and see if any babies did not make it so you can remove it from the nest immediately. So when checking on them for the first time, you want to see this. You should see a well-made nest with lots and lots of fur on top of her kits to keep them warm. When you place your hand over the fur, you will be able to feel them underneath. Gently move the fur out of the way so you can see all of the kits. They will move around quite a bit when you start to handle them. They just think it's their mama coming to feed them. I quickly count them and check to see that they are all moving. Then I place the fur back on top of them and give them back to the doe. It's important to not expose them too long to the cooler air and to make sure that they are all huddled together in the warmth of the group. Newborn babies do not have fur when they are born and their eyes will be closed. For this reason, I make sure to check on them. I like to open up the nest and check on them every couple days. I don't check on them every day during the first week and a half because they are so fragile at that age. But it is important to check on the doe's hutch at least twice a day during this time, which can be done at feeding times. And this is just to make sure that none of the babies have fallen out of the nest. Occasionally, a baby will fall out of the nest box. This usually happens when the doe is nursing them and one of the babies is still latched onto her when she hops out of the nest box. Does are not able to carry their babies around at all. So if you find a baby on the wire, you want to place it back in the nest box as soon as possible. This is very important in winter months because if the kits leave the nest too early, they are at risk of dying from exposure. I usually like to give my does a break in the middle of winter, but I have raised litters in below zero temps before, and they have always done well. Really, my only challenge was having to worry about them ending up on the wire out of the warmth of their nest. So I will check on them first thing in the morning and before I go to bed. If you ever find a baby outside the nest and it still feels warm to the touch, you can place it back in with its litter mates. Depending on how long the baby has been on the wire, if it feels cold, it may need some extra help regaining its body temperature. I've only had to do this once, but you can tug it inside of your shirt and share your body heat, or you can wrap it up in a towel and set it on top of a heating pad. They begin to grow fur a couple days after birth, and by two weeks old, they have all of their fur. Now, when they are 10 days old, their eyes should be open. This is important to watch out for. Sometimes the babies cannot open their eyes, and it's mostly just dry, crusty material sealing the lids together. When this happens, I just take a baby wipe and gently try to rub away the material from the eye, and then I use my fingers to gently separate the eyelids. The eye may look a little red around the edges, but, but in my experience, once the eye is cleaned and opened, the baby recovers pretty quickly. If you see signs of infection, you can get eye drops from a vet that contains an antibiotic. So when they are 10 days old, I recount the litter check their eyes, and I also clean out their nest box and give them new nesting material for the first time. Because if you don't, harmful bacteria can grow and put your litter at risk of disease. 
So what I usually do is remove all the dough's fur from the top and set it aside. Then I grab a second fresh clean nest box and prepare it for them by putting down a two inch layer of aspen shaving and then on top of that timothy hay. Then I move the 10 day old kits over to their clean nest box and that is when I check their eyes. Then once they are all in there, I put the doe's fur back on top of them to keep them warm. As the babies grow, you will need to keep checking on the nest box to make sure it is not too damp. Make sure to change the bedding when it feels damp. Once the babies reach about two and a half to three weeks of age, they will start coming out of the nest box. At this age is when I like to give them a different nest box. We make ones with a lower front, making it easier for them to come and go from the nest box. At this age, they will also start eating pellets and drinking water. You will be able to tell they are eating when you see tiny little droppings in the hutch and under the hutch like these ones. Between three to eight weeks old, I think, are when the babies are at their cutest. So make sure you handle them a lot. They will be scared at first and maybe even scream the first couple times you hold them, but it's important in the long run to hold them and get them used to being handled. Well, in my next video, I will go over how to sex the litter, when to take the nest box away, and how to wean and separate the litter. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.